I am Renee Price. I'm Director of Admissions. Welcome to Quickly Catholic. Um, hello, my name is um, Maria Diaz and I'm a science teacher here at Quigley and I'm also a lead teacher here at Quigley Catholic High School. Right now we're in our, what we call our wet science lab. This lab is used by both chemistry and biology classes to carry out experiments um, where they need water, gas, things like that. We have also another lab where we can do physics experiments. Our science program is a very comprehensive program. We do have a science requirement every year. Mainly the freshman and sophomore years are the ones that are kind of set in stone and then from junior and senior year you have more options. Everybody starts with a freshman biology and as you move forward we have chemistry and honors chemistry for um, sophomore year and then junior year we, we get a few more options you can take uh, college in high school chemistry, you can take college in high school biology, you can take physics, um, honors physics, you can take AP computer science, and then senior year, again, you have all those options available uh, to you as well. Many students try to double up on their science during their senior year, depending on what they want to do for college. Hi, my name is Maria Myron, and I am one of the history teachers here at Quigley Catholic. And so I teach freshman history and I teach junior history. Freshman year, uh, I teach world history and they learn about the ancient cultures such as Egypt and Greece and Rome. Sophomore year, they learn more modern world history. Junior year is American or AP American. If they take an AP class, they can earn um, college credits by taking a test at the end of the year. And then senior year, they have several options. They can take AP European history, um, government and economics, and then we also have the psychology elective that juniors and seniors can take. Here at Quigley we have two history teachers. They kind of go back and forth from me to Mr. O'Neill who um, also runs robotics. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. O'Neill. I'm a social studies um, and robotics teacher here at Quigley Catholic High School. You're standing now in our um, new robotics lab. The robotics program here, we have an introductory elective course for uh, our freshman class. For our next year, we're introducing new electives in advanced robotics engineering. Uh, we utilize the VEX V5 uh, robotic system with its compatible software um, which we can deliver uh, virtual robots and then transition the students to the hardware. I'm also piloting a advanced first aid and Pennsylvania emergency medical technician program and have a count towards one of their science courses here at Quigley. I'm Louis Bosco and I teach religion at Quigley Catholic High School we're here in the chapel, which is in the very heart of the school. And I think that shows that the faith at Quigley Catholic is really the foundation of all that we do. Students encounter Christ at mass and in the sacraments, in prayer, in the classrooms, and in one another. In religion class, we teach what the church teaches and why. I want the students to see the reasonableness of the faith. In religion class, I teach sacred scripture, also sacred tradition and we really emphasize the history of the church so that the students can get a feel for the continuity of church teaching throughout the centuries. We especially emphasize the early church fathers, those Christians who were closest to the apostles, who learned from the apostles and from those who had known them. We have mass here at the school twice a month, the regular school mass and the first Friday mass. We also have adoration here in the chapel. We pray the rosary, uh, we do Lectio Divina, the students can come here uh, during the school day just to spend some time with the Lord. It's really an honor and a grace to teach the faith here at Quigley Catholic. This is our gym. Uh, this is where our monthly masses are held here at Quigley. We have our musicals and any huge events are held in our great gym right here. Looking at our athletic program, we do have 12 whip wheel sports. We have our boys and girls basketball here. We have cheerleading. We have girls volleyball. We have boys and girls uh, golf soccer, baseball, softball, cross country. We do have some co-op programs as well, which is our ice hockey, our track and field, as well as our wrestling. One thing great about Quigley, we do have a no-cup policy. What a lot of our athletes do like is that they can play more than one sport. So over half of our student body through our athletes do play one to two, three sports throughout the school year. Hello, I am Sarah Carger, and I am a member of the English department here at Quigley Catholic High School. 
we look at texts from not only the classic literary canon, but we also look at modern literature as well and various pieces from the 21st century. Students learn more than just plot diagrams and figurative language and literary devices. Students learn vocabulary, vital researching and writing skills for speaking and aesthetic purposes. Our approach to literature and our entire English program is to offer new approaches and angles in which students can view their lives and the lives of others through unique and different ways. We are able to do that in the wide variety of classes that we offer. We have our introductory courses in our Literature Comp 1 and Literature Comp 2 classes, and then from there, students have a wide variety of choices. They can choose our American Literature classes or our Honors American class. They can choose a British Literature class or the Honors British Literature class. If the students decide they want to follow the Honors track, students then have the choice of taking the AP Language course as well as the AP Literature and Composition course. But we also offer a college and high school program. Students have the opportunity to earn a sufficient amount of English credit towards their English college courses before they even graduate from Quigley. And I think that's something that makes us quite unique and a cut above the rest. Um, my name is Autumn Wobrak. I am a math teacher here at Quigley. Our math program is really great because we offer a lot of different classes and varieties. We start with Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2 Trig, and Honors Pre-Calc. Out of all those classes, we also have Honors options for all of them. We then have Stats and CHS Stats. CHS Stats is currently offered through St. Vincent. And then we have CHS Calc, which is offered through Carlo. On top of that, you can really start in Algebra 1, even if you're not in Honors Algebra 1, and make your way to both of the CHS classes if that's what you want. If you start doing really well, we can test you out. We can do whatever we need to get you to where you want to be before you leave Quigley. So I'm also in charge of the SAT prep here at Quigley. On Mondays, we do about 15 to 20 minutes of SAT prep in the study halls. So students take a test that is very similar to the test they'll see at the SATs. And then on Wednesdays, this is after school from 2.30 to 3.30, we go over those answers, especially if there was any problem questions. A lot of schools offer SAT prep, but you have to pay extra for it. Here it's completely free. I'm Tim Waxenfelter. Welcome. I'm the speech and debate mock trial coach here at Quigley Catholic. I've held those positions for over 30 years. As you see behind me, our display board this demonstrates the awards won by our students in the National Speech and Debate Association. Certificates record their progress through their speaking skill. We believe strongly that public speaking is a critical skill necessary for all students. We are renowned for our success in mock trial. We've advanced to the state finals in mock trial 17 times, and nine of those times came away state champion and advanced to the national tournament. We still hold the record of, uh, for the most wins in the state of Pennsylvania at nine. We also are the only team in the state of Pennsylvania ever to advance to the national final round. To this date, nearly 25 of our graduates who participated through the mock trial program have graduated from law school. The value is immeasurable. The confidence and poise our students gain is second to none. Our library serves as the uh, study hall for our students. We, can, we conduct all of them here. It's a very comfortable place. It's a place where much of the art work is, is displayed and we allow them to go to the courtyard. This is our courtyard. This is used for our students. They can come out here anytime during study hall. This is our art room. This is one of our electives that the students can choose from, from ceramics to painting, drawing, pottery, experimental art one and two. And these courses also are available in honors and CHS. In addition to art, uh, the students have other options to take uh, as well in the music department. There's piano class, there's concert choir, guitar class, there's concert band, as well as psychology and yearbook and photography.